Welcome to Open Heavens Devotional Commentary, a guide to a close fellowship with God with Salami Energy Harina, your host. We are glad to have you today. Hello, good day, and thank you for joining us today again. Open Heavens is written by our Father and the Lord, Pastor E. A. Adeboe, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. And this commentary intends to bring insights to God's Word by the help of the Holy Spirit. Today's date is Thursday, the 23rd day of February 2023. And our topic for today is Growing Your Faith, Part 3. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, we want to thank you and appreciate you for being our guide and our shield, for protecting us from the eyes of the evil one, for being our provider. You have been our all in all. With you by our side, we have never lacked any good thing. We come before you today to say we are grateful. Receive our thanks in Jesus' name. As we set our hearts again to receive from your word, we ask that you would speak and instruct us. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. You are welcome back. Our memory verse for today is from the book of James chapter 1 verse 22. James 1 verse 22 reads, But be ye doers of the word, and not hearers only, deceiving your own selves. James chapter 1 verse 22. And our text for today is from the same book of James chapter 1. We would be reading from verse 22 to verse 25 now. James chapter 1 verse 22 to 25 reads, But be ye doers of the word, and not hearers only, deceiving your own selves. For if any be a hearer of the word, and not a doer, he is like unto a man beholding his natural face in a glass. For he beholdeth himself, and goeth his way, and straightway forgeteth what manner of man he was. But whosoever looketh into the perfect law of liberty, and continueth therein, he being not a forgetful hearer, but a doer of the work, this man shall be blessed in his deed. James chapter 1, from verse 22 to 25. God bless the reading of his word to us today in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Our topic for today once more is, Growing Your Faith, Part 3. And in the body of our devotional for today, our Father in the Lord says to us that, after studying God's word, memorizing and meditating on it, you must ensure you act on it so your faith can grow. Our Bible reading for today says clearly that we must not be hearers only, but doers also. In fact, verse 25 says that if you are a doer of the word, you would be blessed indeed. In other words, the more you apply the word, the more blessed you become. While faithfulness is a noun, faith is a verb. If you truly believe, it would show in your actions. James chapter 2 verse 26 After you have meditated on something you read in the Bible, the next thing you are to do is apply it. Make a move in line with what has been revealed to you in the Word. When you read Proverbs chapter 21 verse 13 that says you should not close your ears to the cry of the poor, do you apply it? When you read Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 7 that says that if enemies gather against you in one way, they will be scattered in seven, do you still fret at the sight of them? When you apply the lessons you draw from the word of God, your faith will begin to grow. Very soon, little faith will become great faith, and great faith will become very great faith. All you have to do is practice what you learn. I didn't start out with the level of faith I now have. I remember very well when I had just gotten born again. My Sunday school teacher taught us then that if a little boy is on a roof and his father tells him to jump down, promising to catch him, the boy would jump. He said in the same vein, when God asks us to jump, we should just jump and he would catch us. I meditated over that deeply. Since then, I have been jumping and God has been catching me. So many times, I start projects not because I have the funds required to complete them, but because I know that God will catch me and he has never failed. For every time he showed up, my faith grew and my dreams became bigger. I keep going for bigger mountains because I am sure that he lives and is supporting me all the way. God bless his word to us today in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Our topic for today once more is 
growing your faith part 3. And so far God has helped us, we have studied the first and the second, today we are studying the third part of this topic. When we studied the first part of this topic, we learned that to grow our faith, we need to study God's word. It was explained to us that the entrance of his word giveth light, it also gives understanding to us. You would also recall that we read from Romans chapter 10 verse 17 that tells us that faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. We were made to ensure that God's word dwells in us richly and that we pay intentional attention to studying it. Hallelujah! Yesterday when we studied the part 2 of this topic, we learned the importance of memorizing and meditating upon God's word. It was King David that said in Psalm 119 verse 11 that thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against thee. And we understood from there that that was because he always committed God's word to memory. Our Father and the Lord also encouraged us to take practical steps to memorizing God's word. He gave example of himself and how he used to memorize one memory verse per week when he got born again. And we understand that if we should continue that way consistently, we would make tremendous progress. We also learned to not only commit scriptures to memory, but to also meditate upon them. That is when the wisdom and the priceless treasure in his word is revealed. Hallelujah! Today we have before us the third part of our topic, which is Growing Your Faith Part 3. And our study today takes it a little further by telling us that when we study and we memorize and even meditate on God's word, it is important that we also put them to practice. And this is where many believers, in my opinion, need to pay very close attention. Many believers today are conversant with God's word, no doubt. So many even have countless memory verses up their sleeves. They could go on and on reciting God's word. But then taking a closer look at their lives and you would realize that many of these things are only head knowledge. They are not put into practice in their lives. When you take a closer look at them, you can see clearly that it is a totally different life that they live. They live two different lives, one in the things that they profess and another in the things that they act out. This is not supposed to be so. Our memory verse for today tells us that, But be ye doers of the word, and not hearers only. What it says next is my point of emphasis. It says, deceiving your own selves. So when you know what to do and you do not do it, to you it is a sin according to scripture. And it is not only a sin, it is self-deception. And this is the most terrible form of deception. A wise man once said, To thyself be true. Praise God. Our Lord Jesus speaking in John chapter 13 verse 17 says to us that if ye know these things, happy are ye if ye do them. Your joy is full when you actually practice that which God tells us. Hallelujah. And we can see this from the testimony of our Father in the Lord in today's study. He is well aware of the promises of God's faithfulness to us. And so he always puts it to work. In his words, he says, I have been jumping and God has been catching me. He also says that for every time he showed up, my faith grew and my dreams became bigger. There is something so sweet about getting to read of God's promises in his word, acting upon his instructions by faith, and then receiving his precious promises tangibly. Your faith is skyrocketed, and to you it becomes an evidence. You become personally convinced beyond all reasonable doubt that you have a father who is faithful. But all of these are only made possible when we choose to put his word to the test. When we study, we memorize, we meditate, and we put to practice that which he says to us. Hallelujah! I am so excited because someone's faith is not going to remain the same. For someone listening, your faith is just about to be boosted. You are about to receive testimonies of God's faithfulness in your life by putting to practice what we learn from his word. If you are that person, why not open your mouth and begin to appreciate him for his word to us today? Say, Father, we are grateful. Thank you for reviving our faith again. Thank you for reminding us of the need to practice what we learn from your word, of the importance of not just being hearers only. Why not ask the Lord today, say, Father, in the name of Jesus, Grant me the grace today to put your word to practice. The grace that translates what I learn from your word into action. Say, Lord, please grant unto me today in the name of Jesus. The grace to put to practice the instructions and all that we learn from his word. Say, Father, grant unto me today. 
Ask him, say, Lord, help me not to just be a hearer. Help me to be a doer of your word. In the name of Jesus, why not call upon the Lord today? Say, Father, as we, your children, would be jumping by your instructions in faith, Lord, let us fall into your hands. Let us fall into your faithfulness. Let us see in our lives undeniable proofs and evidences that you never fail. Lord, show up for us. In the name of Jesus, ask the Lord today that as we choose to obey him in all that he tells us, our baby-like faith would bring forth tremendous testimonies. We would see him hold our hands all through the way. We would at no point be left stranded. In the name of Jesus, also ask the Lord today that whatever may have been standing in our way, making obedience and practicing of all that we have learned from his word difficult, that today they are bulldozed out of our way. And from henceforth declare that in the name of Jesus, every little faith is turning to great faith. And great faith is turning into very great faith in the name of Jesus. Thank you, our Father and our God. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Our dear Father, we thank you for your word today again. We are grateful because our faith would never remain the same. You would prove yourself as mighty in our lives and our testimonies would be resounding. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. We have a reflection in our study today that tells us, have you been practicing the things that you have been learning from the word of God? We receive the grace today to practice all that we learn and to have our faith boosted as we see him coming through for us in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. We have in our Bible in one year reading plan for today to read from the book of Deuteronomy chapter 5 down to chapter 8. Hallelujah. We're also thanking you and appreciating you for joining us today. The Lord bless you. If you'd love to speak to someone or to receive updates like this sent to you daily, please do well to send a WhatsApp or Telegram message to plus 234-80-986-11226. Do well also to like, share, comment and subscribe to our various platforms available. Our hymn for today is the hymn 21 of our Open Heavens devotional. We would be singing, Standing on the Promises of Christ my King. Have a lovely day ahead. See you tomorrow again by God's grace. God bless you and bye for now.
I believe you enjoyed today's devotional. We'd love to hear from you. Kindly leave a comment. You can connect with us on any of our social media handles attached. God bless you. Have a great day and see you tomorrow.